Compared to what the rebels have, have, have gone through, if you have gone to the town, you would have seen a lot of corpses you know, littered. Some unfortunately innocent civilians. And so Support for Ekamug from the international community, particularly Britain. Yeah, so the casualties have been very, very heavy on the part of the rebels. Very, very heavy. What are you talking? Hundreds, thousands? More than getting to. Hundreds and in fact, until over a thousand. Surprised at the strength of the rebels general until the, at least for the first three years. The international community acknowledges the fact that what ECOMO is doing, what ECOMO is doing is to protect democracy. Then they should give us everything at their disposal to enable us to protect this, this democracy. Just few logistic support is, it, it cannot be done. I mean, it cannot protect. Democracy. Nous constatons ici de viser que les commandes a repris la ville en main et que la situation est en train de se normaliser. Bien sûr, nous les diplomates, nous allons rentrer, nous allons continuer à entrer en action pour essayer de commencer le dialogue qui avait été déjà entamé par les accords d'Abidjan et le plan de paix de Conakry. Et je crois que nous arriverons à une bonne solution. I'm very hopeful that uh, we will make a breakthrough uh, in ceasefire negotiations. Uh, the role of Guinea is very, very crucial in this, and the arrival of the foreign minister here is a strong support for the peace effort that we are making. So I'm very hopeful. So, bon, oh. No, I think you don't negotiate with your friends, you negotiate with your enemies, and so it is important that we have to negotiate with, with the rebels. That's your enemies. And uh, we, we have to hear what they say. Bon courage, eh? Bon courage. Bon courage. Thanks a lot. Okay. Yeah, we'll be in touch. Okay. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. Okay, bye bye. Take care. So the last seven days was, it, was I don't say, was fearful because the area was so dark. We can't get out for food, and children are crying. No food around. That's the main problem. That my mother left. The people are starving. No food. We can't even go out and get food. You go to the neighbor's side, gunshots. Everywhere people go around. So, even I'm going around looking for food. 